Today our lecture is a, a part of a sports medicine lecture and we will discuss about ligaments around the knee joint. Specifically we will discuss with about, about anterior cruciate ligament, posterior cruciate ligament, medial collateral ligament, lateral collateral ligament and posterior lateral corner. Regarding the anterior cruciate ligament, it is a dense structure with 90% type 1 collagen and 10% type 3 collagen running from posterior medial aspect of lateral femoral condyle to a broad insertion anterior and between the intercondylar eminence on tibia. On an average, it is 33 mm long and 11 mm in diameter. It consists of two bundles, anterior medial and posterior lateral bundle. The anterior medial bundle is tight in flexion while the posterior lateral bundle is tight in extension. The anterior medial bundle is a primary strain to the anterior translation of the tibia, while the posterior lateral bundle is a greater contribution to the rotational stability. This is the one reason why we do Lachman test for anterior medial bundle of anterior cruciate ligament, while we do power shift test to check and test posterior lateral component of ACL. ACL is basically a primary restraint to the anterior translation of tibia but secondary limits tibial rotation relative to the femur and also varus and vulgus angulation. The blood supply of ACL is from the middle geniculate artery while the nerve supply is from posterior articular nerve from the tibial nerve and its strength is 2200 newtons against anterior translation. Now we move to posterior cruciate ligament. PCL like like ACL is a dense collagenous structure broader than ACL intracapsular extrasynovial structure. It rotates from posterior tibial sulcus below the articular surface and inserts on into lateral aspect of medial femoral condyle. It is 38 mm to 13 mm that is 38 m, uh, millimeter in length and 13 millimeter in the diameter. It has a strength of 25 to 3000 2500 to 3000 newtons strength against posterior directed force uh, regarding the bundles of posterior cruciate ligament we can remember it as pal so posterior cruciate ligament has anterior lateral bundle and a posterior medial bundle the anterior lateral bundle is tight in flexion and most important stability 9 degree of flexion while the posterior medial bundle is tight in extension Regarding the posterior cruciate ligament, there are also meniscofemoral ligaments. These consist of ligament of Humphrey, and which is anterior, and ligament of Brisbane, which is posterior. They arise from posterior horn of lateral meniscus and insert to the substance of PCL. And its blood supply of the PCL, as we know, is similar like ACL from middle geniculate artery. Now we go to MCL. MCL consists of superficial and deep component which are separated by bursa. Superficial is a primary strain to vulgar stress test in 30 degree of flexion. Superficial MCL is arise proximal and posterior to the medial femoral epicondyle with a broad insertion about 3 to 4 mm and inserts just distal to the articular surface and is 6 cm down to the tibia inserted to the periosteum just deep to pes and serinus tendon. The deep MCL, however, is a capsular thinking a thickening associated with medial meniscus via corneal ligament. Posterior fiber of deep MCL, posterior fibers of deep MCL blend with posterior oblique ligament. The posterior oblique ligament functions as to resist interrotation of the tibia in full extension. Now we go for structures around the lateral aspect of the knee. The structures around the lateral aspect of the knee, the layers are very important to discuss. Uh, when you ask, you ask about the lateral structure of the knee, it consists of three layers. The layer one it consists of elutable band and bicep. The layer two consists of patellar retinaculum and patellofemoral ligament common pyrrole nerve lies between the layer 1 and layer 2. 
layer 3 is divided into superficial and deep component. Superficial consists of LCL and fibulofibular ligament, while the deep consists of arcuate, coronal ligament, popliteus, and popliteofibular ligament, and capsule. When you go from the lateral aspect, lateral side of the knee, the first two structures which you find in the layer 1 is elutebal band and bicep femurus. Elutebal band is anterior to the bicep tendon. Elutebal band inserts at Gurdy's tubercle. The bicep inserts on the fibular head. It is the most posterior structure on the fibular head. So these are the two layers, that is elutebal band. The first layer, that is elutebal band and bicep femurus. These are also called the posterior dynamic stabilizers of posterior lateral corner. Layer 2 consists of patellar retinal and patellar femoral ligaments. Layer 3 consists of lateral collateral ligament, popliteus and popliteal fibular ligament. Uh, the lateral collateral ligament is in fact the most anterior structure on the fibular head. Moreover, the lateral collateral ligament is also behind the center of the rotation of the knee. So what it means is the LCL is tight in extension and lacks in flexion. So it is lateral collateral ligament is tested on a third degree of flexion of the knee with a various truss test in third degree of flexion. Regarding the popliteal fibular ligament, it is attached to the fibula and is inserted into the myotendinous junction of the popliteus. It is attached on fibula just posterior to LCL. You can be asked about the structures attached to the fibular head. So from anterior to posterior, the, the most anterior sex structure attached to the fibular head is lateral collateral ligament. In the, medical, in the middle is popliteal fibular ligament and the most posterior is bicep femoris on the fibular head. Regarding the popliteus tendon, the muscle, it is a muscle, muscle belly, attaches to the muscle belly on the back of the tibia, runs through the popliteal hiatus behind the lateral meniscus and inserts on lateral femoral condyle on popliteus sulcus. It is intra-articular, so it is deep to the lateral collateral ligament. Other structures is one of the structure is arcuate ligament. It is in fact deep to the fibular attached deep to the fibular head and to the insertion of lateral collateral petal femoral ligament and the popliteal fibular ligament and bicep ligament. So it is the most deepest structure attached to the fibular head. The fibular fibular ligament is a variable structure uh, 